Wow. Dolphins are some of the most intelligent creatures on the planet. Unfortunately, they are not quite evolved enough yet to write and create their own television programs, so we have to do it for them. Enter Ivan Tors, the pioneering producer of animal-based entertainment. The Hungarian-born filmmaker had two obsessions over his long career, working underwater and walking with animals. In the golden age of television, Tors produced wet and wild family adventure series, including Sea Hunt, The Aquanauts, Duck Tree and Gentle Ben. His greatest and most beloved contribution to pop culture, Flipper, would blend both awe-inducing undersea filming and awe-inducing creatures. Like most of Tors' properties, Flipper began on the big screen in the 1963 film starring Chuck Connors of The Rifleman. The following year, a sequel led into a television spin-off. Flipper aired for three seasons. The 1990s saw a Flipper revival as new versions hit cinemas and television, starring Elijah Wood and Jessica Alba respectively. Let's take a deeper dive into the original TV show. Here's a dozen things you might not know about Flipper. Flipper is an American television program broadcast on NBC from the 19th of September 1964 until the 15th of April 1967. Flipper, a bottlenosed dolphin, is the pet of Port Rex, chief warden at Coral Key Park and Marine Preserve, a fictional version of John Pennekamp Coral Reef State Park in Key Largo, Florida, and his two young sons, Sandy and Bud. The show has been dubbed an aquatic lassie, and a considerable amount of children's merchandise inspired by the show was produced during its first run. Filming began in the early summer of 1964, and the first episode of season one was broadcast on the 19th of September 1964, with the series ending with the 28th episode of season three being broadcast on the 15th of April 1967, showing on NBC Saturday nights 7.30 to 8.00 p.m., making 88 episodes in total. NBC continued broadcasts with repeats from season 3 until September 1967. One episode, episode 3 in season 1 called SOS Dolphin, was filmed earlier in 1964 as a pilot, immediately after the filming of Flipper's new adventure was completed. Brian Kelly appeared in all 88 episodes, Luke Halpin was in 85, and Tommy Norden was in 84. In its debut season in the 1964-1965 United States Network television schedule, Flipper was a considerable rating success, rating in the top 25, especially going up against the long-standing and popular The Jackie Gleason Show on CBS. Ratings declined only slightly in Season 2, 1965-66 United States Network television schedule, buoyed by its proximity to NBC's popular new Saturday night shows I Dream of Jenny and Get Smart. Ratings fell sharply in Season 3 against a strong rise in ratings for Gleason's show. Flipper's voice was actually the sound of a kookaburra bird. Sorry if you were hoping to learn how to speak dolphin. Flipper's chattering was created with sped-up recordings of the Australian bird. Flipper was created by the creature from the Black Lagoon. Riku Browning was the performer in the rubber Gilman suit in Universal's iconic aquatic horror films. The Florida native starred in Creature from the Black Lagoon, 1954, in its two quickie sequels. One day in the following decade, Browning was relaxing at home with his children, 
were sat mesmerized in front of the television set. They were watching Lassie, Browning remembered. And I thought, why not do something with a boy and a dolphin? Ivan Tors might have been a spy. Tors led a fascinating life. He left his native land and came to America prior to World War II. Here, he enlisted in the army, where he eventually joined the Office of Strategic Services, the predecessor to the CIA. He was in the OSS and he very possibly was a spy. His son David Dawes told the Biscayne Times in 2012. Although I can't get anyone to admit it. After an undisclosed injury, Dawes transferred to a wildly different unit, serving alongside legendary big band leader Glenn Miller in the Army Air Forces. Dawes was part of the production team for Miller's AAF band. These army connections helped him get started in Hollywood 